the Citadel 205 is a study of porcyclosib, which is highly specific uh, PI3 delta inhibitor, um, uh, PI3 delta kinase inhibitor uh, in mantle lymphoma. So in this meeting, uh, porcyclosib uh, activity in follicular, uh, marginal, as well as mantle cell lymphoma was presented. I presented data on uh, mantle cell lymphoma. Uh, it was a very interesting study. The adult patient with mantle cell lymphoma who have at least seen one line of therapy, they were enrolled. Initially, the study had two arms, um, those patients who were BTK naive, uh, and those patients who had uh, exposed to BTK uh, inhibitor, uh, those were enrolled. But the arm uh, with those patients who have been exposed to BDK inhibitor was terminated early because we uh, saw uh, not great activity uh, of uh, persaclisib in those patient settings. That was presented in last ASH meeting. Uh, this ASH meeting, we focused on patients who have not been exposed to BDK inhibitor. Uh, so about 108 patients were enrolled, uh, and majority of the patients was uh, in daily group. So we divided the patient into two groups, weekly and daily group. So the weekly group is those patients after eight weeks of 20 milligram of parcyclisib, they were, um, uh, so to speak, on a maintenance dose of 20 milligram weekly, or after eight weeks of 20 milligram daily dose to two and a half milligram daily uh, dose. So those were the two arms. And after an interim analysis, we switch all the patients to daily group. So the data were presented as a total group or a daily group. Um, and about 77 patients were enrolled in a, in a daily group and total were 108 patients. And uh, as you can see that the response rate uh, in this patient population was very impressive, about 70% and 20% complete response rate. Uh, impressively also, most of the patients responded within a month uh, of a um, month or two of starting parcyclisib. Um, most of the patients tolerated it well. The major side effect that we saw in this patient population was diarrhea, uh, or colitis uh, and neutropenia. The PI3 kinase delta inhibitor parcyclisib is designed to avoid transaminitis. And um, in our patient population, we did not see any grade four transaminitis. So that was uh, kind of uh, 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 the whole goal of parcyclisib to avoid transaminitis. The duration of response as well as progression rate free survival was impressive about a year or a little bit more than a year uh, in, in, in daily group. Um, so parcyclisib now is another option for mantle cell lymphoma. Uh, as we all know that uh, with uh, in mantle cell lymphoma, BDK inhibitor is kind of a backbone um, for the treatment. Uh, parcyclisib offers um, similar activity with a different toxicity profile. We know that like ibrutinib and others, they have side effect. Um, and in a real world population, many of the patients, they discontinue BTK inhibitor because of intolerance. So um, uh, parcyclisib offers a, uh, a other uh, option for those patients.